Hey, you. Come over here. I want to talk to you about something. You know who you are. You know why I'm having this conversation. Because you know what you did. And what you did to me. is unforgivable. You tried to take my life. What you've done is a disgrace. It is uncomprehensible. is disgusting. I will not forgive you, but I surely will forget you. For the things that you have done to me with your manipulations, with your, it wasn't me, it was them playing the victim getting your fake profiles together so then you can make it look like somebody else that did these things to you? No, it was you. It was all you and you know it. You hurt me real deep. And you did it out of envy and jealousy and you're probably mentally unstable I would say sociopath for sure because why you haven't stopped your behavior you still try to continue to do it to other people and point the finger at somebody else I know it all Oh, I know it all. And you get your little team together to try to help you. But see, their help isn't the kind that you need. Your day of reckoning is coming. It's all been written. It's all been recorded. And it's all been getting ready to be served to your ass. Because the divine is on that ass. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? I was the one that was supporting you and helping you. Well, this is how you treat people? You have no remorse. Twin, you know what I'm talking about. Not no twin flame shit. Twins, you know who you are. And I struggled with knowing what you've done to me and still try to do worse to me. every time I'd separate myself it just keep playing over and over and over in my head so then I would get the nerve to want to come up there and I want to see you and I wanted to fucking hurt you I wanted to hurt you the way that I would feel satisfied But I couldn't. Though every part of me wanted to straight make you pay. I chickened out. 
because I knew the consequences of me beating your ass to a bloody pulp for that moment of vindication would not be satisfactory in the long term. I'm not your victim anymore. I'm surely not your supporter nor your friend. So continue to do what you're doing. Keep trying to cover up everything in the way that you have. Because your day is coming. And it will come swiftly, my friend, when you least expect it. The things that you do. And you have no regard for it. Not only for yourself, but for other people because of your... Past issues and your lack of love for yourself. And I tried to show you through those things... Because I've been there myself. And then when you heard that, that was an open door for you. Because that's how you met me. To take advantage of me. Because I've seen you do it to other people. Shame on you. So I'm here doing this now because this is going to help me. One, not go beat your ass so I end up in jail. But for two, to really pull it in for myself. Like I said, I will never forgive you. But I surely will forget you. So don't you think for one fucking minute that your paranoia that you live in and then your sidetrack shit that you get yourself into because you cannot face the reality of that I was trying to show you all these years. Shame on me. But that's just the big heart that I have. And you'll never steal that from me. You might have tried to steal my life. Try to be me. You got the same freaking shoes I do. You think you're chosen. I buy a house. Now you're trying to buy a house. I had a lawsuit. You're trying to get a lawsuit. It's just plain doppelganger. And I know it all. So come at me, bro. I dare you. Because you stepped to me, now I'm just defending myself. Me stepping to you, well, I was stepping in a big old pile of shit if I went to hurt you. Because that has been in my brain since the day I found out. And you have no idea the hurt that I wanted to put on you. You just didn't. And am I capable? Highly capable. But see, I'm not that person. My ego does not rule me. It's my heart. And that's, like I said, one thing you will never, ever take away. This was like the fourth take I've done of this because I broke down so many times trying to get this right. And stand strong for the other victims that have been terrorized and tormented and suffered at the hands of you 
So you can sit there and you can try to do your cover-up game and you can blame everybody else. But it's too late. It's way too late for that. The show's over. So I prayed this to you. I pray that you let go of all those demons that have been holding you back by stepping into the light and praying to God Almighty to save your ass. Because if you don't, Lord help you. So this is to the other victims that don't have the courage to stand up and say something. You have no idea what we go through. But I'm here for everybody else that is going through their own pain because of people like you. But see, I'm strong enough to be that person. Because that's who I am. So people. Do not sit on your pain. But don't do stupid stuff either. Like want to hurt somebody. Because they hurt you. Okay we just. Two wrongs don't make a right. But I tell you, I try to make it wrong because I wanted it right. So that's why I'm doing this right here now. Because this is the right thing to do. To stand up. To say no. To confront you. Because if I didn't do it this way, I'd probably be in jail. So people don't go that route. You know, I've tried to reach out to several different people, several different agencies, several different ways to get this fixed for me. People just turn their back on me. Yeah. Officials, doctors, whatever, everybody, they just turn their back on. But you know who never turned their back on me? God. And that's who I hope you find. Because like I said, your time is coming. It is here. It is now through this video. Your days are numbered. And I was guided to put this message out this way because other people need to hear it. So they don't suffer. In the way that I have. I have no more words for you. Just may God have mercy on your soul. If you want it. But I don't think you do. I think you're too far gone for that. So sit with that. Because you're going to have a long time to be sitting and thinking about a bunch of shit. It's never too late. Stop what you're doing right now. 
Confess your sins. Fix yourself. Get it right. It's going to be made right for you. So these will be the last words you ever hear from me. Because like I said, I'll never forgive you. But I surely will forget you.